Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we will learn about the animation properties. These animation properties can be used to animate many CSS properties such as color, background color, width, height, border radius, etc, etc. Each animation needs to be defined with the keyframe rule, which is then called with the animation property. And each keyframe rule defines what should happen at specific moment during the animation where 0% is the beginning of the animation and 100% is the end. Let's learn more about these animation properties with examples to understand them better. Say we have this div and we want to change its color from blue to coral with a duration of two seconds. So first we need to define the keyframe rule for this. Let's bring up our code editor. So let's bring it up here. Let's expand it a bit. So coming to the CSS file, the syntax to define keyframe rules is at the rate keyframes and we need to give a name to this keyframe. So let's say pulse, then curly brackets. And now we define different stages of animation. So let's say 0%. So this uh, represents the starting state of the animation. And inside these curly brackets, we define CSS properties. So what we want to do is we want to start the animation with background color blue, light blue, and we want to end it with light coral. So 100% background color, light coral. So 100% represents the end of the animation. Now we have our keyframe rules ready. So to animate, we need to use the animation name property. So coming up to the div, Let's use that property animation name and let's give this keyframe name. So pulse, let's save it. Then we need to define the duration. So let's say two seconds. So animation duration, two seconds, let's save it. And now, as you can see, the animation starts from blue and goes to light coral. So when we define animation duration, so we are setting the time for one cycle of the animation. Then we need to define the number of times this animation should run or the number of times the cycle should run. So for that, we have another property animation iteration count. Let's say we want this to run three times. Let's say that as you can see, it came from blue to coral, blue to coral and blue to coral. And it went back to the original color, which was white. Similarly, if we want this to keep repeating over and over, so we could simply write infinite. So let's say that. And as you can see, our animation is going over and over. Uh, but if you notice, after every cycle, the animation is reset to 0%. Now say we want it to go from 0 to 100 and then back from 100 to 0. So basically to go from blue to coral and then from coral to blue. For this purpose, we can use another property called animation direction. So let's use that. So animation direction. So for this going from zero to hundred and from hundred back to zero, we can give it a value alternate. Let's save it. And as you can see, our animation is going from blue to coral and then from coral to blue and again from blue to coral and so on. It also accepts another value reverse with this value. It starts from hundred and goes to zero and again starts from hundred and goes to zero. So basically it runs reverse from the normal flow. So let's try giving this value. Let's save it. And as you can see, it's going from coral to blue and then again from coral to blue. We can also control the animation speed using the property animation timing function. So let's give that a try. So animation timing function and this property, it accepts ease in, ease out, linear, ease in, out. So let's say ease in. So we want it to start slowly and then go faster. All right, 
Now let's remove these things and let's make our animation run just one time. So let's remove these. Let's bring this to one. Let's save it. And now, as you can see, our animation started from blue, went to coral and came back to original state, which is white, no background color. Let's say we want it to stay in the last state of the animation. For that, we have another property called animation fill mode. So let's give that a try. So animation fill mode, let's say forwards, let's save it. And now, as you can see, when the animation got over, it stayed in the last stage of the animation. So it stayed at the hundred percent. Let's say you want to pause the animation when someone hovers on the element. For this, we can use another property called animation play state. It accepts two values, play and pause. So let's give that a try. But before that, let's increase the duration. Say five seconds. Let's save it. All right. So what we want is when someone hovers on the div, so div and hover. So we want to pause the animation state. So let's use that property animation play state. Let's give it a value paused. Let's save it. Let's make this infinite. Let's save it. All right. So when I hover my animation stopped, it paused. It's not moving any further. I remove it. I hover again, it pauses. And as you can see, it went to coral. And now I'm hovering, so again the animation is paused. All right. Similarly, let's say along with the background color change, we want our uh, element to rotate along the z axis. So let's use the property transform, rotate z. Let's say it starts from zero degrees and it goes to 45 degrees or let's say 180 degrees. Let's save it. And as you can see now, our element is rotating along the Z axis. So when I hover, the animation stops and when I remove, it resumes. And that's how your animation play state property works. Even for these animation properties, we have a shorthand property called animation. It accepts the values in following sequence. Let's try using one shorthand property. So let's say animation. So the first one is name. So in our case, the name is pulse space. Uh, then we need to give the animation duration. So in our case, which is five seconds, then we need to give the timing function. Let's say ease in. Then we have to give the iteration count according to the sequence. So let's just say infinite. Let's comment these. Let's save it. And as you can see, our animation is ex working as expected. That's all for today, guys. If there is something that you did not understand, feel free to drop a comment and we will discuss it. See you in the next video. Bye and take care.